The next time you take a stroll through Frick Park, you may see some new additions, a herd of goats. But these animals aren't just hanging out, they are on official duty. And joining me now to talk about this live over Zoom is Camilla Rivera Tinsley, Education Director for the Pittsburgh Parks Conservancy. Camilla, thank you for joining us. So these goats are there to do work. What exactly is their assignment? Well, the goats are there to help us maintain um, the park. And really what they're doing is they are munching away at invasive species. Um, the invasive species that we're really concerned with right now is um, Asian bush honeysuckle, which is very beautiful. Um, and it's been introduced here in North America because of its beauty, but we have since found out that it's not that great for the ecology of the forest. Um, and what it's really doing, these uh, bushes, they are really affecting the food that birds are able to eat um, and potentially the soil chemistry as well. Now, are the goats naturally attracted to what you want them to eat or do you have to do some coercion? How does that work? <laughs> Um, well, we whisper into the goat's ears um, and we say, please, please go eat that bush honeysuckle. Um, actually, goats are really, really great for um, the forest here in Pittsburgh because, as you know, we have a lot of slopes and goats are really good at munching on slopes and being stable. So they get in there um, and they're attracted to all of um, the invasive species. Right now, you can see them eating a little stilt grass here in your clip um, and eating anything that we don't really want in the space. So how is this better than using chemicals or machinery? Why the goats? Sure, so um, you can't always mow, like if you are on the side of a hillside or if you're in, in more of a woody area. So the goats help us because they allow us to get into spaces that are not accessible by humans. They also allow us to not use petrochemicals and not use pesticides. So we don't always wanna be spraying pesticides. In fact, we don't wanna spray, spray pesticides at all and the goats allow us to be able to manage um, weeds and invasives without using those chemicals which mm. can affect our waterways and also can change soil chemistry over time yeah so how long are they going to be there so the goats are visiting us this time for about a month so we encourage folks to come on out um, and see the goats in action um, you can get up close to them we don't want you to reach over the fence at all because they are in a fenced in area and a space called clayton hill um, but you're welcome to come on down and check them out while they are munching in the forest and i suppose it would be counterproductive for to invite people to bring anything to feed the goats that's not what you you need to do the the food is no. is what's growing you want them to eat that absolutely so don't do not bring food for the goats um, the goats have plenty of food in the forest and um, they're doing a great job for us and we'd love you to come on out and learn more about what we do in the park and maybe volunteer to help us to remove some of these invasive that we're trying to get rid of okay and there's a donkey i know that works along with the goats what's the donkey's role um, so the donkey, Hobo, um, Hobo helps the goats to stay in line. So kind of like a rooster watches over the chickens, Hobo is going to make sure um, that nothing is bothering the goats um, and that the goats stay in the area that we need them to. So he, he is a good captain. Very cool. All right. Good luck with the goats. I hope they get plenty to eat and do their work, their magic uh, on, the, uh, on the environment there in Frick Park. And um, I thank you for joining us, Camilla. Thanks so much. Thanks for having us. Come on down to the park. All right, I'd love to.